the FIA has finally released the technical regulations for F1's 2026 power unit. But what can we expect? You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. August 2022 marked a significant step for Formula One's future, with the FIA approving the power unit regulations for 2026. F1 introduced its all-new cars this season with a focus on closer wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, which was in itself a gigantic effort. It's months of work, it's 12 months of a lot of challenge, a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice from all the company. Uh, we sacrificed to some extent the 2021 season because of limited resources to put everything on 2022. But the next stage is upgrading the sports power unit. To get into the details, F1's current power plants comprise six elements, turbocharger, the engine, energy store, control electronics, and energy recovery systems, comprising MGUK using kinetic energy from the brakes, and the supercomplex MGUH, which recycles waste heat from the turbo, but is set to be scrapped to attract new manufacturers. The removal of the MGUH is one of the FIA's four pillars for the 2026 F1 power units, along with the retention of the 1.6-liter V6 engine, increased electrical power to 350 kilowatts, and introduction of a cost cap. The power plants will also run on 100% sustainable fuel, be high revving, and a key factor in performance, sound, and a driver's ability to race without excessive differentiation. The success of the new power unit regulations has already been proven in part with action from Volkswagen Group. Via its brand's Porsche, with a planned 50% buy-in of Red Bull Racing's F1 operation, and Audi, which is expected to purchase Sauber, the group behind the Alfa Romeo team. With work to now begin across all manufacturers, with a few years to prepare before running the new era power units on track. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.